Alrighty, this time we'll go off without a hitch. It will, it will. And I'm not gonna bother to grab that stuff because I don't know if I even need that stuff. And I will be stalking the shit out of you. Unless <laughs> you looked right at me and you couldn't see me because it's dark. You're a terrible splinter cell. You know that? And I'll knock you out just because I hate you all. In fact, I should have murdered you because I hate you all. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, there's like a sneaky pipe. Sneaky piping. I don't even know what my objective is. Just trying my damn just to not be spotted for once. Yeah, well, he discovered the body. Whatever, nobody sees nothing. You see nothing. You see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Victory is mine. What an asshole. How are you going to come out of the elevator like that? Wow. How incredibly rude of you. Um, I'm not supposed... Hey, a dead drop down there. I guess this was just a sneaky area? Um... Oh, I'm supposed to go up. Yeah. <laughs> He's snoring. <laughs> I never noticed that before. That is pretty awesome. I had no idea they snored. I mean, I guess it makes sense since they are sleeping. So peacefully they are. Oh dear lord, it's another laser event shaft of doom. Of doom, I say, of doom. Um, why do I do this to myself? I just like drop down real fast. No. Switching sides. Are you gonna gonna zap me. I can't tell where you are in location to my body. Drop, drop, drop. Drop into victory. Dear Lord Sammy Fisher, you picked the worst possible ways to go. Is there any point in being up here or no? Man. What's that? Oh, it's a climbing rope. I could have just climbed straight down if I had gotten to that thing. I'm so close to victory. Thank God the lasers are strategically placed so so my body can very stealthily hide in between said lasers. Cause man, if there was some son of a bitch that that put those in there that made them just a little bit closer together, I would be so screwed. So screwed would I be. Ooh, dead drop. Give me that dead drop. Oh, dead drop. Um, can you like climb down and get the damn dead drop? No, I don't want to climb down that far. They might spot me. I am not prepared for that. Let's see, we got you, and you, and you. There's so many guys. Oh, I'm not even supposed to go down there? What? Oh my god, did I completely bypass my objective? <laughs> and now I'm gonna have to climb up through the lasers, aren't I? And then I'll have to go over here and deal with all these 
jerk asses. Oh my god. I was so focused on the dead drop that that Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of the bitch. <laughs> Why do I need to be right here anyway? What is is this? It's it is nothing. Nothing of importance. Hack network port. I had some serious multitasking right there. Let me tell you what. Whee! <laughs> that was fun and scary and delightful all at the same time. You will not hold your pos Oh my god, now they have more backup because I did that. That is just so terribly terrible. Even more backup because I completed my objective. Maybe I can sneak around this way? Sure, why not? Anything's possible, right? 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 Anything's possible? Probably not. Uh, oh, there's a camera up there. Well, that's that's just goddamn rude too. Oh my God! There's a vent shaft. There's a vent shaft of victory within my grasp. Go away, camera. Poopy, poopy camera. Oh, baby! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, vent shaft of victory is mine. And now he will come back in here and spot me because I am being stupid once again. Oh dear lord, this is some intense shit right here. And this dude probably just patrols this one room. Whatever, let's risk it. I don't know. Did I just alert something? You think I alerted something, but screw you anyway, cuz, cuz, yeah. No more catching Sammy Fisher in action. Seven hostels undisturbed, yeah. That is a, oh, Jesus Christ, and then I walk right into someone else, cuz I'm all excited, cuz I did well for once. And then I screw myself over right away. Yeah, this door totally wasn't open before. You should come investigate. Dickhead. Ah Thank you for complying with my wishes. Just because I think this... Oh, and of course there is another drone operator here. And pew! Yeah. Fuck your drone, asshole. Oh, I'm loving all these vent shafts. I love you, I love you, I love you. C. 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 I don't know what that says. Offices. Cut comps. I do not have a problem with that. Oh, that wasn't good timing. <laughs> oh shit, that was only one out of three. I am a very stupid man, I am. Of course, we already knew this. Oh, thank God for strategically placed vent shafts everywhere. I thought that was a dead end for a second. Kind of be like, you son of a bitch. Oh, I really need to take care of that drone operator, douchebag, doucher. Hi there, Mr. Heavy Man. I shall run away from you now. I shall run far away because you guys all like to beat my ass. 
Please don't spot me. Yeah, you were so close to spotting me, and then you failed. It's probably the drone operator that I gotta capture too, huh? Yeah, it would just be my luck. I didn't tell you to pop out of there like that. Dear Lord, Sam Fisher, all I wanted you to do is open the goddamn vent shaft. No, stop flipping that switch. Um. You're not Sadiq. Dumbass. <laughs> Mark him, please. Biatches, kiss my ass. No more drone, no more stupid speech. And while I'm here, I will destroy the shit out of these cameras, so you are no longer able to to spread your poopy message to the whole world. And I was really stupid for doing that because now I alerted somebody. Cause that is kind of what I do. It is, it is, it really, really is. Man, eh, might as well knock your ass out, or not, cause, cause I suck ass at the knocking out of the peoples. Shit, looks like I pretty much took care of everybody for the most part. <laughs> I mean, works for me. Obviously, it would be nice to do No, 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 no. What the hell? Not a man down, he's just taking a goddamn nap. So rude. Don't you ever need to take a nap? I should really switch back to my sticky shockers. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, you take a nap now too, except you don't get a nice and sleepy night night nap. You get a zappy shock knock the fuck out nap. Activate Charlie's virus. And where do I need to go? Now yeah, is everybody still knocked out and unconscious and not ready to impede my progress to my goal? I don't know. Now there's an evil drone that appears to be offline. And there's another super sexy vent shaft. Oh, this is where I need to be. Oh, goddamn. Now lucky. Sam, Briggs, it's Grim. We're back up. Someone in the bunker is trying to access the Secretary of Defense's account. If Sadiq gets to the secure files, uh, you have to stop him now. Whatever it takes. I've got it. Is that Briggs? Or is that me? That's Briggs, isn't it? What the hell are you doing? Hold it right there! You dumbass. Whatever, at least it's not me. Do you copy? Ventilation is offline. 
Don't give me problems, give me solutions. Give me an update on the hostages. Now. We both know that you will give us what we want. I'm not giving you access. You could destroy America. Start a world war. But I'm not interested in wars. I'm after the only weapon that matters anymore. Information. Just relax. Relax. Yeah. It's not your decision to make. The only thing you have to choose is how much it hurts before you do what you're asked. Just relax. Screw you. Oh, you got some big old testicles on you. These special forces. Chop his finger off. Take the ring finger. No. Not the ring finger. Mmm, no. no. you sick sons of bitches. Well, Briggs is dead. I love you, Briggs. Thank you for your service to our country. What? You are very tenacious. Is that me? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Right behind you. Ah, ha, ha, bitch, surprise. Be hostage in the war room. Communicating with your team. What'd you take me for? Hold him still. Ouch. I was never one for subdermal radios. Too invasive. Mm, didn't seem all that invasive to me problem. until you took it out. Leave us to our work, and I'll see that he lives. Okay, then. Bring him. Fisher will never leave him behind. Get the hostages ready to move. Bravo. We're bringing the hostages to the tunnel. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, please help me. Oh. What? is wrong with you he's gonna bleed to death pass me that tunicate mm. dude that is some nasty shit right there did he cut his whole hand off i thought he just said the ring finger Yeah, I don't think I even would have made it through an entire hand. That is some hardcore shit right there. Don't, you can't. I'm so sorry. Grab him. You have not thought this one through. Try him. You won't risk shooting him. Why? Because you're gonna kill him? We both know you don't have that in you. Wanna bet? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill him. I can't exercise the fifth freedom. Nope, not gonna happen. We are now in a permanent standoff because I refuse to murder this poor old man who now only has one hand. But apparently I don't have a choice. So it's kind of odd that I'm exercising my fifth freedom. Even though I don't really have the freedom to decide not to exercise my fifth freedom, you must die! I'm sorry. Well played! <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did ya? And Sam wanted to kick you off the team. Damn. Good 
You're taking us to your plane. Just get him up. Whew. That was some intense this is shit. Leader of the men in control of the bunker at site F. We are exiting with our hostages. They will be released if we are allowed to leave safely. Any aggression on your part will result in executions. So basically I'm gonna have to be super sneaky, no alert, no detection, super bullshit mode, right? Am I right? I'm totally right. Careful. There are snipers out there just waiting for you to make a stupid mistake. Oh, there's Sammy Fisher. Yeah, I'm a hostage. Oops. I know you can't respond, Sam. But if they leave Denver, it's all over. Stop him any way you can. I want a full sweep of the plane when we get there. Execute anyone on board. I'm kind of curious as to where this is going. Keep moving. Watch your back. And of course I... Oh. I guess. Well, that was a short, sweet trip. Sadiq escaped, you must act quickly. I expected something a little more spectacular than that, but... I know you can't respond, Sam. Apparently not. Denver, it's all over. Stop him any way you can. Okay. I want a full sweep of the plane. Oh, oh, yeah, bitches. Ha, 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 you guys got owned. And apparently he's just going to stand there and let me sneak up on his ass. Or not, kind of, sort of. Um, should I murder him or should I try to, try to, try to, hand-to-hand -hand combat this situation because I don't really want to kill him because I haven't killed anybody whatever escaped my ass he did no such thing he absolutely did not escape whatsoever I know you can't respond Sam but if they leave Denver it's all over stop him any way you can I want a full sweep Yeah, I guess I'll just like run up here and say, how's it going? Oh. Oh, shit. You I will not leave you, goddammit. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Am I supposed to like chase after this bastard? Oh shit, they got like snipers and shit. Oh. Or it's just him. Ah shit. Shit. Come on now. That's some bad timing. So is that him right there? Sadiq cannot reach the paladin. Well, no shit. <laughs> this how you want it to end? Fisher. I'm all up in your ass, bitch. <laughs> where are you? Oh, you know where I am. I am sneaking up on your backside. You are going down. He's got to be here. You're going down like your mama did last night, motherfucker. Oh. Oh shit. Man, Sam 
Jim got his ass beat. What's up with that? Now I'm all like injured and shit. Whatever. Whatever. Sadiq ain't got the skills to put me down. Where the hell did he go? What the hell's? Oh, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you sneaky mother. Fucker. Mashing the shit out of that X button. Oh. Damn, you ain't running away this time, motherfucker. It's over. Whew. You think this ends with me? No, but I'll stop the next motherfucker too. Twelve nations that stand behind the engineers. Behind me. I guess we got a lot more games to look forward to. Twelve wars. Damn right I am. Kill me. Kill me. Those nations will rise up. Put me on trial. And I will spill every secret I know. Oh shit. The ultimate I choice. Already won. To kill. There's always another option. Or not to kill. Oh, apparently I have to kill him? What? But I don't want to kill him. I haven't killed anybody. You're going to make me kill him? That's kind of disappointing. Okay. You did! Oh, thank God. I didn't want to kill him. Yeah, there's my fifth freedom, bitch. Fourth echelon status confirmed. Stopped the blacklist. I wonder if if that was like because I spared everybody during the main game that he spared him. So now I'm wondering if you kill everybody, does he kill him? Or does he always spare him? That is a good question. Now I'm going to have to play through the entire game again just to find out. I stop the blacklist, baby. So how many rounds does this thing hold? Just 20 rounds in your basic magazine. Get your finger out of the guard. You're going to put a hole in the plane. Relax. And now Coben's our buddy. What's that? Uh, my gun? <laughs> this is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for... Hey, nice to see you too, Brett. Something is it for fun. Weapons intel. It's like I'm part of the team now, huh? Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Kobe. Kobe. Welcome back, Briggs. Good to see you too, Grim. So what's up? They're making it official. That the United States has conducted an operation. Oh my god, and they cut off the subtitles. I don't even know what they're saying. I can't hear because the audio is all fucked up. First time I talk to a dead man. Who are you? We're going to start from the top. We give thanks to the brave men and women who work tirelessly to bring these terrorists to justice. The world will never know their work. Their names will be lost to history. But their sacrifice will never be forgotten. That was a damn fine game right there. Wow. Yeah, I basically enjoyed every single Splinter Cell, even the the often criticized double agent for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 because they released two completely different versions of that game. One for the original Xbox and PS2, and then a completely different... Hey Sarah, pick up please, it's me. Dad, Dad, 
Dad, sorry. I'm kind of screening my calls right now. There was some shooting around here, and it's just... I understand. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be home soon. It's over? It's really over. And you're okay? And Uncle Vic and Anna and... And we're going to have some new scars, but we all made it. Oh, God. It's so good to hear. I was scared, Dad. Everyone was scared. Don't tell anyone, but I was a little scared, too. I'm really freaked out. But you mean it, Dad? It's, it's over? No American dust? Uh, not this time. I need to make sure not ever. Not ever? You're staying with them. It's a job. You know I have to. But I'll always come back when I can. I'll always come back for you, kiddo. Yeah. I know you will, Dad. I love you. Oh, that was so sweet. So yeah, I even enjoyed Splinter Cell Double Agent, even though it's kind of hard to classify that as a Splinter Cell game, because I don't really remember too much of it, but it didn't seem like you had hardly any gadgets, and just about every level was in the daytime, and there wasn't really any great indicator of when you were being stealthy or not, and yeah. Probably the worst Splinter Cell game, but I still enjoyed it personally. And I thought Conviction was pretty damn awesome. You know, I know a lot of people complained when they introduced the mark and execute because it makes the game too easy and blah blah blah. But I mean, really. I mean, they gotta evolve the game, because if it was still exactly the same Splinter Cell that first came out, I don't think anybody would still be playing it, you know? Because you look at the very first Splinter Cell, and that is a hardcore stealth game. You literally cannot be seen, or you're gonna die. Anytime you get seen, you gotta restart a checkpoint. I don't even remember if the first game had checkpoints or not in the levels. The first game might not have even had checkpoints, so you might have had to read on the whole damn level if you screwed up in that game for all I remember. And really, it was all about shooting out every single light you came across, moving as slowly as possible, like monitoring guards from a distance and learning their patterns and whatnot, and then acting, you know, after, after doing all that stuff. It was an incredibly slow paced game. I still enjoy the hell out of it because I really do like stealth games even if I suck at them most of the time. So yeah, I mean they, they've come a long way from the first Splinter Cell and this is probably the best Splinter Cell, you know, because honestly I never really cared much for the story in the first couple of Splinter Cells. It was always kind of meh, you know, like all military I don't even remember what the stories were, let's just put it that way. But yeah, and then... Conviction was really awesome. Like, the story and stuff. And this one was also pretty enjoyable with the story and whatnot. And in this one, they, they brought it back so you can be com completely stealthy. You can get through every level without ever having to knock anybody out or have anybody spot you or anything. You completely have that choice in this game or you have the complete opposite choice and you can go in guns blazing full armor out the ass crazy man mode and kill everybody in the world. So yeah, I mean, I really don't see how anybody could have anything bad to say about this game, you know? It was fun as hell. It was intense. Beautiful controls. Gorgeous looking game. You can play it completely stealthy, or you can play it stealthy lethally, or you can play it completely combat oriented with killing everybody. Uh, I guess the only thing I personally would have to complain about is the audio because for whatever reason it would go almost completely silent during certain scenes which chances are they fix that shit with a patch or something but because I don't play online ever 
uh, I obviously don't have any patches for this game. So yeah, it was it was pretty annoying. And then of course they had all the side missions that you can do if you choose to do, and all kinds of collectibles and shit. Then you can master all the different styles on all the different levels. And apparently there's also some sort of alternate ending where you can murder the shit out of Sadiq. At least I'm assuming there is, since, you know, they give you the random choices to spare or kill people throughout the entirety of the game. And I assume that culminates in the final battle there at the end. And depending on what your decisions were during the game, influences the final decision of the game. And then there's like so many random things you can do as far as taking guys out with certain gadgets or killing people with certain things. And yeah, this 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 game's pretty damn packed with shit to do. And that's not even playing like the multiplayer. Like I don't even play spies versus mercs. I mean, God knows how many hours of my life that would suck away if I actually played multiplayer, you know? But really, just for a single-player standpoint, there's a whole lot of shit to do in this game. Yeah. Awesome game! Bravo! Bravo! Very, very well done, Splinter Cell developers. Can't wait for the next one. Apparently, we got 12 more games in the works, because... Because Mr. Sadiq there was all like, there's 12 nations behind us, there's some blah blah blah, and apparently they're all going to be really pissed off now that he failed. So yeah, definitely looking forward to the next Splinter Cell. Of course it will probably be at least... I don't know, they don't really seem to come out with Splinter Cells too terribly often, so I would imagine it would be a minimum of two years to three years, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I'm just glad they don't turn it into a yearly thing, you know, like Call of Duty and shit. Sports games. <laughs> <laughs> I never got that. Like, why do sports games need to come out every single year when there's hardly any changes, you know? But whatever. I'm just complaining because I feel like complaining about stupid games that come out on a yearly basis for no good reason. Other than the fact that people keep buying the shit out of them. I mean, really. If I was a game developer and people were more than willing to buy a very minuscule updated game year after year after year, then I would I would be cranking them out yearly too. Because, really, it is about the monies. So as long as people be buying that shit, they gonna keep pumping that shit out. See, now I'm conflicted, because I want to know if there's an alternate ending. I mean, I I guess I could just look it up to make sure, but I would really like to record the alternate ending if there is one. But this wasn't a particularly long session, you know, since I was basically on the final mission. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to upload this all as one final video. And unfortunately, I am recording this on Friday night. So that means that I have work tomorrow. Damn you work. So I don't really ha have the time to, to play through the entire game again just to get to the ending, you know. Even though I would really like to. Because I am all about those alternate endings. Whenever and wherever they may happen. I shall look it up on my handy phone right here. Sibilinta. Uh, Cell. Blacklist. 
multiple endings and see what pops up well the first result is from YouTube and it says ending and secret ending well, he's game facts how many different endings are there come on two endings without spoiling various endings and how to get them how many are there Th three there's three endings nice to be around another week in that hospital and I would have killed myself by eating the food did they treat you okay in there doctors were great the nurses Oh, Sam, you remember that elephant you nearly bought in Thailand that time? I'm gonna have to forget. You keep reminding me. Whoa, whoa, hold up a sec. You bought an elephant? It was a long time ago. Yeah, I swear that elephant must have gone to nursing school. Because a guy in a nurse's uniform who looked just like him showed up and shoved a needle in my ass three times a day. There's no way that elephant would have graduated by now. Okay, you got me there, but... Seriously, it's good to... But will there be sound? Oh, it's good to see you up and around, Vic. And now we shall torture the shit out of Sadiq. Anyway, that three ending thing was for double agent, apparently, because cause that makes sense. You search on Google for Splinter Cell Blacklist, and the third result is for Splinter Cell Double Agent. So, can I talk to you people now after we finish the game? I want you on the team. Ray. I mean, who else is going to bail your ass out when you get yourself captured? I, at least I didn't get shot. <laughs> I'd still bail you out then, too. Aw, oh, he loves me now. Good to go whenever you are. Just say the word, Chief. Yeah, unfortunately, that will probably bring our adventures together to an end. I think Charlie's got some new gear. Grim, how's the roll up on the engineers going? Between the SMI and the intel you and Briggs got in Denver, we were able to draw a pretty accurate map. We figure out how deep their connections go. Every question we answer leads to more questions. The scope of Sadiq's operation is incredible. We're lucky you took him down when you did. The team took down Sadiq. We both know you deserve a lot of credit. Thanks. I should get back to work. Oh, I think she's blushing. How uncomfortable compliments make <laughs> really? Cat got my tongue. My God, he complimented me. I don't know what to do with that. Let's see it done. All of Charlie. See, it still says that Coben and Grim both have a mission, so I don't understand that. Cause I got the achievement for completing all their missions, but their meters are not maxed out in any way whatsoever. Hey, Charlie. Thanks, Sam. You really came through for the team, Vic. Well, that, that really means a lot. Well, it means you got five more seconds to enjoy before you gotta get your ass back to your desk. We got work to do. You're just a big softy, aren't you? I have nice to. Work, Charlie. Thanks for keeping me on the team. Biggest softy you've ever heard of. And of course... We can't quit without... Is he still going to be in the <laughs> the prison? So is he just going to be our permanent prisoner forever and ever and ever and we're never going to drop him off anywhere? Or... I guess so. Coleman. So, after everything I did for you, you're going to turn me loose, right? Totally. No, you've ruined any chance of that happening. Come on, I saved the plane, I rolled over on my clients, what the hell? Exactly. You proved yourself useful. We're keeping you here. Kidding, right? I know. Surprised the hell out of me, too. <laughs> so what, I'm like, part of the team now? Aw, uh, yeah. You weren't that useful. <laughs> Welcome to the team. So, wait a minute, where are you going? We gotta talk contract. Deal points. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I guess I should make one final sweep of the paladin for any super exciting hidden collectible artworks. Oh, there's one. What did we get? Sight F Weather Station. He's so beautiful. Chances are that will be the final one. Because I already got one in the cockpit. I got one or two of them in the hangar bay. So yeah, I'm going to say that was probably, possibly, totally not going to be the last, last hidden collectible recon data thingy. Oh, there's another one right there. God damn. Transit yards, tunnels. I believe that is where we were first person splinter selling his brigs. Still what the fucking over that shit. I mean it was cool. I just didn't like how they throw you in there and and they're just like have at it. You're now in a first person splinter cell game. Good luck. They don't even tell you good luck. They just throw your ass in there and yeah. In the final conversation with hey, our kid. daughter. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm all right. I think I just got rid of the last of the turkey leftovers. Aborting them was my plan all along. Things are getting back to normal? Slowly. Gas is still through the roof. A couple of airlines are in trouble. About what you'd expect. But nobody's throwing bricks through coffeehouse windows anymore? Not anymore. Oh, that's good to hear. Look, I, I gotta go, kiddo. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too, Dad. Love you. Yeah. I guess that pretty much wraps it up. Because now we got a bunch of big old question marks. Next blacklist attack American Dust. Yeah, they'll probably release some sort of DLC for this game. Which, of course, I will not do because I never go online. Yeah. So sad. Take it. Final gander at all of our miscellaneous stat boards, and of course there's nothing there because that's spies versus mercs, and I don't play with spies versus mercs, and guess I will take one up, Sam? final look at my progress, just to see. 81% ghosty style, baby. Single player, 100%. 10 out of 27 Ghost Masters. Nice. That's pretty damn good. Uh, 22. Oh, yeah, the dead drops. 22 out of 24 dead drops. Not sure which dead drops I for now. didn't Roger. get. That's. Oh, I know what they are. They're totally Briggs's levels. That's what they are. And obviously, I'm not going to be getting them because the co-op multiplayer is nigh impossible now. And do I remember which ones I didn't have? I sure as shit don't. It says there's only, what? How is there one, two, three, four, five left? It said that I collected all but two. And whatever, they weren't all that entertaining anyway, so I have dragged this on long enough. Um, unless I decide to try to get the alternate ending. This will wrap it up. I thank you for watching. It has been one hell of an adventure. I do miss Michael Ironside, but he was a very adequate Sammy Fisher. So yes, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next game. Goodbye.